Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing my latest jewelry purchase, which is my Dior Rose de Vence necklace in pink opal. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The Dior Rose de Vence collection was created by Dior's creative director of jewelry, Victoire de Castellane, and as you can hear by my voice, I am not a native French speaker, so hopefully I am pronouncing that somewhere in the ballpark, but I just did want to put that disclaimer out there that I may also not be pronouncing this correctly as well. But this um, collection and design was inspired by her favorite uh, number, which was eight, her favorite flower, which was a rose, and lastly, her favorite symbol, which was a star. So all these uh, helped in creating this timeless design. And just to let you guys know that this comes in various different stones, metals, and categories of jewelry. Let's start off with the packaging. Um, now, like with most Dior uh, purchases, you are going to receive the shopping bag, and the Dior shopping bag does have a textured material, so they do also have their name, and it's right in the center in gold uh, lettering. And then the back side of it has a star, which I want to say this may be metal of some sort because it does hold some weight to it it's not very light and then it also does come with the dior ribbon and that's just for the shop bag that comes with any purchase and then for the specific fine jewelry pieces i did receive this box so it's gray and white which also has dior in the gold lettering and then when you open it which you have to be a little careful because it does open this way so this uh, pulls out and then you can slide out the box this box as you can see it has like a shine finish to it um, and it almost feels like satin so when you open it up like this it again has the Dior and gold leathering and then this is where the necklace would be housed so you can put on any of these slits and then this also pulls out one of the things that I thought was really interesting about this specific box and how it was designed is that when you open it this way you actually pull this out and this is where authenticity uh, number is located. So it's stamped with where you purchased uh, this specific uh, piece of jewelry. And then it does have like all the information in regards to its uh, unique identifier. So I thought that was different, uh, especially when you look at the Cartier and Van Cleef and Arpel uh, certificates. And I did like uh, the creative way of kind of how you have to pull it out to find it. So it's, it's stuck within the box, which is good in the sense that if you don't lose a box, you will always have the authenticity uh, card. But uh, if you lose the box and you kind of lose both with it versus the other luxury jewelry houses um, having the certificate separate. So maybe you could potentially lose their certificate, but you wouldn't lose the box. Uh, but with this one, it's kind of they're two in one. So if you lose the box, you kind of lose the certificate with it unless you personally take it out. I thought this angle would be a little bit uh, easier to see the necklace up close. My necklace is in rose gold with the stone pink opal, and then it does have a diamond in the center. This retails for $2,590. The carat weight of the diamond is 0 0.045, and then you can also wear this necklace reversible. So if you turn up on its side, you can wear it this way, although I do prefer wearing it on the front side. One thing to keep in mind is that if you've ever purchased jewelry from Cartier or Van Cleef & Arpel, they do allow you to lengthen or shorten the chain at no additional cost, as long as it's within a certain time period. But when you're going to these fashion houses that also provide fine jewelry, that's not always the case. So when I actually went to Louis Vuitton to try on their pink opal necklace, they did not offer lengthening or shortening of their necklaces, which I found for myself just uh, wouldn't work because I usually like to have my necklaces have that flexibility. But one thing with Dior is I didn't, to be honest, I did not ask if they would provide the lengthening or shortening because their necklaces themselves come standardized with these three uh, loops. So the overall necklace, um, and I found these specs on the website, is that it is 42 centimeters. Um, and then they have a small ring, so three small rings, which allow it to adjust from 38 to 40 centimeters. And then the actual motif diameter is 12 centimeters. I would say this uh, motif by itself, you can wear just as a statement piece, but I think it is also dainty enough if you like to stack your necklaces as well. When it comes to wearability, 
like with most uh, precious stones, you can't really get these uh, wet or they can't come in contact with other chemicals like perfumes because this will end up damaging the stone over time. And uh, just like depending with other stones, some are a little bit more durable than others. But I think with the pink opal, this is not a necklace I will be using in the shower. Uh, so just to keep in mind with these type of stones, they aren't meant for 24 seven use. You can wear them daily, but you do have to be a little bit more careful with uh, the products you get on them. So if you like more hassle-free jewelry, I would not recommend this piece. But if you're okay with having to take it on and off before the shower or um, better yet, if you are fine taking on the additional risk of the stone potentially losing its uh, shine or shrinking over time, then you can, you know, wear this as be. And then if something happens, that is just a risk you've taken. Dior does have an aftercare service, which you can take in and then they can assist you at a specific cost. But the associate did let me know that they also do have a, a warranty policy. So if it's within a certain time period, um, they will take care of it free of charge, obviously due to the manufacturer's fault versus normal wear and tear. So it is uh, subject to them reviewing it, uh, but they do have like a warranty policy. And if it's outside that warranty policy, they do also have an aftercare service. Just wanted to come back to this view real quick. Um, just note that this is me wearing it on the second hoop. And that is it for this video. Hopefully I have answered most, if not all of your questions. Uh, but as always, feel free to leave any additional questions down below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys uh, in my next video. Bye.